Okay, so welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, me, the Smokey Joe, is one of these guys who's been around forever. And he's an angry man. Simply because life hasn't treated him that fairly. So, Smokey Joe has loads of physical problems because he's getting old. He's worked out in the damp, laid on cold concrete. He's got stiff legs, sore knees, stiff back. But the guy's pretty knowledgeable. He has done a lot in his lifetime. Been in the trade a long time. It's a little trick he's got banging tyres with a hammer to see if they're inflated or not and he reckons he can get within 8 psi of pressure. Yes, that is a real thing, old boys used to do that, commercial fitters, but poor old Joe, he thinks he's hard done boy, even though he spends most of his life outside because he likes to smoke. He's also got a habit of borrowing other people's tools without their permission, but he is sneaky, so it's Sneaky Smoky Joe. Okay, so by the looks of it, this is my battery gun, which I don't usually lend out without permission, and most of the guys in the workshop are okay. You get the occasional one that will help themselves, and Smoky Joe is definitely one of those type of guys, but he does it very discreetly. So on the cabinet our maintenance man has just built, beautiful cabinet there as you can see to keep the compressor in, it, there's a camera just up in the corner which I've installed and uh, this is spy cam, okay, in fact I've put two of them but that's the main one that watches the toolbox all the time, connected to my mobile phone, yep so you can see my toolbox there. And here is, uh, yeah, just a bit of footage, me locking my box up and then talking to uh, Mr. F, who loves a chat, and then Paul has come to borrow a tool. And then I've locked my toolbox up and away we go. And then this is the next day, this is me at work, so camera works. Anyway, let's get on with what's in the toolbox, the toolbox tool. This is a non-damaging O-ring uh, remover or replacer, okay? Some people use picks, which are not a good idea. Um, but that takes the O-rings off, as you can see. It's Yeah, that's all it is, is an O-ring tool. But it's uh, vital in this trade, especially with oil filter O-rings, okay? So it's like a spoon, if you like. Smooth all the way around so it's non damaging, and believe me, you do not want to damage o rings, okay? Because that's what we use. Snap on, of course, soft handles. Now, these are picks which are good for picking off the occasional rubber o ring where it doesn't matter, where it's metal and the scratches won't damage it. But be warned, sometimes o rings have to be treated with real care, okay? And so do their housings. MAN filter here which is for a Ford Ranger, so that's the Puma 2.2 engine, with an O-ring, always replace the O-ring. So, the difficulty putting an O-ring on, especially on one of these plastic caps, is rolling it down, okay? What happens, it will get twisted, and the best thing to do is uh, to relieve the pressure, if you like, so non-damaging O-ring tool. Yeah, you can see that, that's done, relieve the pressure and it's fitted correctly into place. So you can see how these are, okay? If you know what to use them for, then you'll have them or you'll want them, won't you? Yep, so that's what that is, as simple as. That always stays in my toolbox and I think I've only used a three of them. Okay, long ones sometimes, other ones other times. So yeah, Ford Ranger filter fits in, yeah, just like that, no problem. And if you want to know the part number for the Ford Ranger 2.2 filter, it's that number there. Pause the video if you're interested. Right, so the Torx bits from Blue Spot Tools, which I showed you recently. Yeah, just that tiny little set, which is handy. It's on its own little rail, which means it's more portable, okay. So uh, yeah, found a little slot there on my sockets tray and here we go into a dirty work Land Rover which is an utter catastrophe when you need to change a gearbox the floor has to come out dirty floor can lose sockets so easily anyway I thought they were 3.8 first of all you know quarter inch so the release bearing goes back in talk bits are everywhere now aren't they especially on lighter vehicles so let's talk about the clutch the clutch plate this is a clutch plate with springs in it this is a healthy clutch okay the springs are all in place they help dampen don't they the springs all over the clutch this is a dual mass flywheel 
which also helps to dampen. That's not in the best of condition, but it's okay. It's serviceable, what well, we think it is, because that went back in at an Iveco. Whereas this, the Land Rover one, you can see the unhealthy springs here. Clutch hasn't gone completely, but this, the clutch was jamming up, okay? As you can see, there's some more dampening springs in the center here. All helps to take up drive, okay? Now, <laughs> there's a bit of a spring missing because it was sitting in here jamming up the fingers. Not good, hey? And literally, that was jammed up. And you can see the mark where the other spring was rubbing on the fingers. So, yeah, it wouldn't go into gear properly. And you can see that stuck in there. Not good. This is not a dual mass flywheel, even though the build says it was. That is just a... <laughs> A bit where there isn't compression okay so yeah that's what we thought first of all had to return the flywheel back to Land Rover now this is black electrical tape which you know actually stems the flow of claret when you cut yourself and bleeding emergency uh, band-aid but it also has other uses other than for electrical because we never use it for electrical we use it for padding and all sorts don't we so here's a clutch alignment tool and the one we have doesn't actually suit Land Rover 100% so it had to be adapted and because I told you electrical tape you know what I'm going to say yep I had to put a little bit of tape on the end where the uh, it goes into the toe bearing so we've got half of it here which fits on the clutch plate which is okay when I can actually pick that up yeah that's brilliant all right that fits but the other end didn't yeah that's just what you have to do to get yourself out of trouble but what you should be able to do once you've bolted the clutch plate down yeah is be able to pull this in and out easily so at least you can get your input shaft into there without struggling okay because if it isn't lined up gearbox won't go so there we go another bit of trouble this land rover was trouble all the way around because the clutch fluid was absolutely disgusting it was black all the way through no idea what that was so bled it bled it wouldn't bleed up and they're in a really awkward position aren't they to get fluid into them so there's another blue spot tool i will talk about in a little while but yeah okay job finished now got to do some cleaning of tools yeah actually friday it was raining like hell there was uh, jobs to do outside because the workshop was jammed up at some point so all the tools got wet or all my tools got wet which is a thing you do don't you you can see here the amount of water that's in the container everything got rinsed and so did i so before carrying on with the day the tools get dried out and look there's some chimp food there and uh, yeah that's the way it is you can see how much water's just collected and that was from underneath the vehicle that was just stuff that was dripping on us so yeah stop what i'm doing clean the tools up dry them out and then put them in the box ready for the next job i refuse to do anything else until all my tools are there wd-40 does what it says on the tin drives out moisture cleans and protects okay they're the two main things okay so after the side cutters had been wet and the pliers as well it's literally rinse these because what happens if you leave them in your toolbox over the weekend you can see that rust because i don't actually use those pliers too much they actually start to seize up okay so it's literally rinsing the joints out so all the corrosion comes out or any water that's in there and that's what the wd-40 is there for don't know how you treat your tools i make sure that they are serviceable all the time because i rely on them they're a money maker yeah but the other thing is is clean and protect okay so instead of just cleaning them what i'm doing is spraying all of this lot with wd-40 half of these are not chromed so they will corrode and they do corrode overnight literally sometimes especially in the winter time so what i do is spray them yeah these will get cleaned out at least once every two years you can see how disgusting it actually is but these are working tools these are not show tools for show box for youtube these work for a living okay so the dirt and the dust that collects on that is in the atmosphere of the workshop yeah but they will not rust okay and some of them have got joints on them so that lubricates doesn't it yep so another little bit of spray even if it drips into the toolbox that will drip onto the spanners won't it so i don't know how you look after your tools i know some guys actually steep their spanners in oil but i use wd-40 and it does eventually evaporate okay so that's another rinsing of the side cutters 
just to make sure because I don't know about you but things like grease and dirt disgusting disgusting anyway I'm gonna do a little bit of bass music for you now to rock along to if you know Marcus Miller yeah well this is something like what sounds like Marcus Miller so let's get down for a little while shall we we go what's this this is crim cam caught on camera in my toolbox dodgy old git look at him i mean he's probably angry with somebody because yeah he has a pop off with people then he's all right and then he'll be miserable and then be all right again but he's been in my toolbox and the the only time i've noticed that he doesn't wear those stupid gloves is when he's lifting something out of people's toolboxes and i'm probably sure that's my hammer as well but keeping an eye on this, I've noticed actually, you'll watch this, here he comes, he comes back and he puts the tools back, so that's alright, and he does clean them at least, bless him, what's he doing now, well, actually we've been having issues recently with people leaving weird notes for our prepper guy on the toolbox, well I presume it's for the prepper guy, the way it's all worded, now the old Smokey Joe, he's actually a Christian, he believes in God and he thinks that the end of the world is coming soon, and he does sort of like write things like that. So, what have we got? <laughs> this is me a bit later. I come up. Oh, yeah, look, there's another notice. I know who it's from because of his handwriting. You will die at Armageddon. Well, yeah, that's for prepper guy. Yeah, as I said, this guy here, he's a, a devout Christian, or supposed to be, but he's a miserable old git. But if you notice his jacket there, the high vis jacket, yeah, Mr. Angry, high vis jacket that he's got on. Well, what he does, he hangs it up to dry at the end of the day after he's been outside smoking all day, yeah. So there you go. We've got a little bit of clothes hanger on the uh, compressor shed. So I thought I'd get my own back, and I filled his pockets up with brick rubble, bits of metal, and some tools, yeah, which when he puts that on in the morning, well, actually, it'll probably be Monday morning now because it's uh, Friday, it's the weekend now, yeah, I'll just put some more metal in there, yeah, shove it in his pockets, yeah, that'll make him angry, that'll wind him up, but then again, it's an ongoing joke. He does have a sense of humour sometimes, he does find it funny, but sometimes he just gets wound up with people. I think that's why he works outside all the time as smokes, yeah. It all frustrates him. He's had a hard life, hasn't he? Yeah. Watch out. He always comes back and says something, yeah. Yeah, go on. What are you going to say then? Nothing. I think he's actually shocked there's a bit of technology that he doesn't quite understand. The camera, yeah. Oh, no, he's trying to communicate. Yeah, yeah, same to you, mate. All right, put your fag out. Give up smoking, you old bloke. <laughs> <laughs> 